love the exhibit from generation to generation. A number of the artists I knew, many of them I didn't know, but what I love about it is first of all the variety of work that's being shown, which is, has to do with Jewish artists, but non-Jewish artists, the many different histories that are being handed down from generation to generation in this work, the creativity of the work itself. Uh, but I also really love the, the, the many kinds of materials that are being um, displayed here and that artists are using to show how memory can be figured visually through sound, uh, through installation, and through all these different materials. But what I also really love is how the exhibit figures memory and time. Because time is not just in the past, or memory is not just about the past in this exhibit, it's also about the future. How will the future look back at us, right? And, how, and also about imaginary worlds that yet constitute memories. Um, in their own right. So, for example, movie sets that have become part of our collective memory, but they're not about events that really happened, they're about a world that, that somebody imagined. Um, and what I really like about it as well is that the memories that are being handed down from generation to generation are not just traumatic memories, they're also memories of resistance, of fighting back. Um, so we don't leave the exhibit being depressed about the violence that connects these different artists from the, so many different parts of the world, but we're also inspired by some of the ways in which that violence has been resisted in many different locations around the globe.